Ya, yeah, back again with me, Hendra. Okay, as you can see, a few weeks ago, I have uh, updated the uh, uh, DIY Arduino console, and you can a uh, few demo. And this video is about how you make your own Arduino, my own version of Arduino, of course. So as you can see, I have the components lying around on my table right now. Uh, all the components are through hole, so you can solder it uh, using hand, using this awesome hand. Uh, no assembly required. Uh, so and you can solder it directly without uh, any uh, few special tools. Okay, so I will, uh, right now I will explain about the component first. As you can see, this is a very minimalistic component. Uh, first, the main component is this uh, Arduino PCBs. If you want the PCBs, I've already put the Gerber file on my Hackaday page. If you want to print it your own, you can do it. Just take my file and then you can send it to PCB service like PCBWay or GLC PCB or maybe Oshpark and you can print this uh, PCB and make your own. The second one is uh, this Arduino. Particularly, I use the Arduino Pro Micro. I get this black version. I don't know why. How can I get this one? But it's the same. Uh, it's function the same. Or if you don't have uh, the black Pro Micro, you also can use this kind of the blue Pro Micro. But remember, you have to use the Arduino Pro Micro, not the Arduino Pro Micro, or the Pro Mini, or the Nano, or any kind of Arduino. This board is specifically made for the Arduino Pro Micro. Another component is uh, essential is obviously the screen. I'm using the seven pin SPI OLED. As you can see, this is the SPI seven pin, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. yes, the uh, seven pin SPI OLED screen. Again, you have to use this SPI version of the OLED. This is the 0 0.6 inch OLED screen which is 128 uh, by 96 uh, pixel. Do not use the I2C because it's really, really incompatible with the Arduino, uh, especially this kind of Arduino. <laughs> so yeah, don't get it wrong. The SPI 0 0.96 inch OLED screen, the seven pin one. Uh, next component is the push button. As you can see, I'm using the tactile six by six millimeter uh, switch, micro switch or tactile button like this. I'm using, as you can see, I'm using the long one. Uh, so I can put a, a cap on it like this, just like that one. Any color will, uh, will be fine. You can choose any color you want. But I'm using this color uh, because this, this is the only I, I have left. You can also use uh, this version if you are more comfortable with the shorter, shorter buttons on top of it uh, is your choice but I prefer this one because it has cap and it's uh, much comfortable to press the button uh, but you cannot use this one I don't know why uh, suppose I thought it, it will fit uh, to my Ardu boy but it doesn't well maybe there's some error on my design or maybe I use some mistake on, while designing the PCBs but this button is actually good for pressing, but it's incompatible with my PCBs. So you can use any kind of six by six millimeter uh, button like this, or like this, the one I use. Okay, the other small component is this uh, slide switch. As actually this this slide switch is kind of kind of bad. Uh, I'm ordering another one, which is uh, hopefully the uh, it will be better than this one. And Oh yeah, I'm sorry. For the tactile switch, you need six of them. So as you can see, you have to use it for the directional path, up, left, up, down, left, and right, and the A and B button. So you need six of it. Six of it. Uh, the more, the merrier. You, you can you can put some back up <laughs> uh, if you have some fail while soldering this. And the other one is uh, the sound module, the buzzer. Like this. This is the typical round buzzer, five volt buzzer, active buzzer. You can get it for, you can get it for one or two dollars, or maybe a half 
dollar or fifty cents. I don't know. The price may vary. And the last one is the power source. Actually, this uh, Arduino boy can uh, get the power from uh, various kind of battery. I, last time I used I used I use triple A and double A, two triple A and two double A's battery, and also nine volt battery. It works just fine. But for my option, this is really optional. But uh, if you want to make a good version of it, use a lipo battery. I'm using this two hundred milliamp three point seven volt battery because uh, it will fit in the back, and also you have to use this uh, micro USB charger. This is the TP. 4056 uh, 4056 uh, module you can get this really cheap uh, remember to use this kind, this version not uh, not this one as you can see because this one has a battery protection in it and I've already made some mounting hole uh, on the PCB to fit the battery mo module in the back of it. So remember to use this one. It's, uh, actually, the price is uh, also the same. It's also cheap, like the one I showed before. And remember, if you want to charge the 200 milliamp battery, this one is outputting one milliamp, sorry, one amp of uh, power. So you cannot charge one amp to a 200 milliamp of uh, battery. So you have to uh, change this resistor to a 10k resistor, which is I have, I guess I have one. Which where is it? Where is it? Oh, never mind. I have one, which uh, I will solder it later. So yeah, that is all the components for the uh, so making your own DIY Ardu Boy, my first one DIY Ardu Boy, which I call it Ardu Buino. Uh, so yeah, this is the part one, which is uh, all, uh, listing all the components that will be used. So we will get to the part two, which is soldering the components to the PCB. So this is Sandra, thanks for watching, and bye.